and fish eggs won't make me more receptive to a philanderer. That's a category I haven't grazed in many of them. Only because you were held captive. My dear, it's been a very long, dry summer. I crave your healing touch. If this is your idea of romance, I'm not impressed. Well, I've done everything you ask. I got Helena back to Europe. I'm standing here totally devoted to your comfort. Couldn't you meet me halfway? If you want, Nookie. You're gonna have to work a lot harder to get it. <clears throat> Allow me to consult with my associate. Dodge. First thing in the morning, pick me up three dozen long-stemmed red roses and a sparkler from that jeweler on Main Street and put it on her credit card. I'm sorry, mate. You're in luck. You're gonna have to fend for yourself tonight. Rebecca, you look ravishing tonight. Oh, you tell me that a lot. Not only because it's true. Of course, you're such an honest guy. <sighs> okay, all right, let's take this from the top. You look sophisticated tonight. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'm on my way to that table. Okay, okay, okay then. You look tolerant tonight. Like a woman who would be willing to put up with a bloke who doesn't deserve the honor of the company. You're right, you don't deserve my company. Ah, something we agree on. So you are making progress. This graffiti is indeed a mystery. Even, even the Jackal's most powerful search engines cannot trace its origins. Ah, uh, you know what, you tried your best. Well, then I must better my best. Defeat is not an option. Don't worry about it. We, we gotta focus on something. You stumbled upon a rarity, and the challenge must be met. Spinal, you have to prioritize here, okay? Joey Limbo, a sometime ally of the Zakars, a major heavy hitter, has been sprung from prison. You know what that means? Only one thing. He's coming after Sonny's operation. That's most sobering news indeed. Joey Limbo has to be stopped. That's where you come in. My wife didn't like her drink. <coughs> This is my territory, Mr. Galifus, not yours. Perhaps you need to be reminded of that. While I, I am most certainly a, a, a man of action, perhaps it would be wiser to send a more battle-hardened soldier into the fray, particularly since Stone Cold has forbidden... No, 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 no don't worry. We have the front lines covered. What we need is tech support, and you're it. And the proverbial we would be who? Sonny, who's out of the country right now. Meanwhile, Joey Limbo is looking for his opportunity to take him down. I need you to give me a rundown of all the transport routes and shipments so I can figure out where Joey's going to strike. That, that is a highly unusual request. We're, we're in a crisis here. I mean, we can't waste time. Oh, okay, but I, I only share that level of information with Mr. Sir Stone Cold and the Burnificent one, so do you have clearance from any or all of them? Look, Jason is on a personal assignment. Sonny's orders to me were clear. Stop Joey Limbo by any means necessary. So naturally, I thought about you. Yeah, but I'm sure others have more more valuable skills in, the, in terms of strategy and organization. Well, you don't get it, Spinelli. No one can do what you can do. You are the master of the Internet. You get information that no one else can get. Or, I mean, that's at least what I've heard. My reputation does speak for itself. I... Well, then I can't do this without you, Spinelli. Show me how to protect Sonny's interests. Okay, uh, well, uh, Mr. Sir's transport routes crisscross the eastern seaboard. Oh, damn, that is bad time. Oh, no, it'll just take but a moment. Hey, Spinelli, I have the sex costume. Oh, that's great. Why can we try it out? I should get back to the bar. Care to join me? Uh, actually, Nicholas is meeting me here. With any luck, he fell into the harbor. Will you give it up? He's treated you like rubbish, yeah, Becca. After I spent months lying to him, pretending I had no connection to my twin sister, while you and I had plans to take him for as much money as we could get. Okay, yeah, but even after he found out the truth, due to a very misguided crisis of conscience on my part, he just pretended to forgive you. He just wants to mess with your head. He's been wonderful. We're in a really good place, and I think it's time you just dropped your grudge. I would love to drop my grudge as soon as you drop Nicholas. Okay, it's clear we're not going to make any headway on this tonight. 
So, how about you test drink a new martini I invented? What's in it? It's for you to find out. Look at them. He is wrapped so tightly around her little finger he's turning. He can take care of himself. Every move she makes is calculated. Anything that young woman learned about Linda Cohn, she learned from Ethan. And what if you're wrong? What if she's playing him off against? I rest my case. Interesting. Maybe we should talk about this. Thanks to the original blonde one, uh, that'll be all for now. Let's take a look. No, no, hands off, stop. Well, if you want an opinion on your new sex costume, don't you think you should model it for the single guy in the room and not your spoken for friend? Oh, well, I'm sure you would be spoken for if you actually had better pickup lines. Oh, well, maybe I'll be inspired by the costume. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint, but this is Maxie. She ordered Xena Galaxy Queen, Queen and had it sent to the office and then begged me to drag it over here because she's in the middle of a layout meeting. And on that note, I'll take it up to the closet. You know, I be... love Xena. I watch it every week. No, stop, 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 stop. Maxie wants to model it for us, Benelli. <laughs> actually, uh, yeah, I just... I just... Curious if Zena's uh, battle costume changed from season one to season three. That's all. You'd make a gorgeous guy. He never gives up, does he? He is most persistent. You know what? Maybe you and I should go on a date for Halloween. You go as Zena, I'll go as Trojus, her sex slave from the finale. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have an idea. How about you dress up as Trojus and go trick or treating, and then I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> All right, you know, how about you show me those uh, transport routes? You know, I'm on to your subterfuge, and there is no hope for success. We'll be at a table. Bring us our drinks. I'm not one of your mindless minions. All right, you want drinks? Wait at the bar. Well, that's a nice attitude for an employee. Uh, well, let's go sit down. Rebecca, yeah? do you have a minute, please? Uh, I want to talk to you about my father. Yes, just give me a second. No, actually, the correct <laughs> answer would be, of course, Tracy. I always have time for you and every member of the board. You know, just family. a few weeks ago, you offered me a small fortune to take Rebecca off your hands. And that what? Changed your mind? Well, after your noble refusal, I've had a chance to reconsider. I guess and rediscover your deep and abiding love for Rebecca. Yes, something like that. This is not about Rebecca. You don't give a damn about her. It's about Lucky and Elizabeth. I no won't even grace that with a reply. Your Lucky's engaged now. And the Casadine can't stand to be one up, can he? So you need a woman of your own. Rebecca is the obvious choice. That's right, she is. So what do you say we go have a nice dinner and maybe we'll come back when the atmosphere has improved? Yeah, sure. Prince is one twisted bastard. He's hurting Rebecca and throwing it in my face. And this is a surprise to you? Look, I care about Rebecca. All right, I'm not gonna stand by and watch her get hurt. Well then, be smart and not reactionary. Put your bruised ego and your heart aside and don't start shooting your guns off until you've got a strategy. 